Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Joe and you're watching my channel Ink and Iron and today we're gonna go over my multi-tool collection and uh, decided to show my face just because it's been a while. I've got a weird new haircut now and uh, boy do I have a ton of multi-tools that I've added to my collection in the last year or so. Um, really the last three or four months I've been buying them up like crazy in anticipation of an upcoming showdown series where we are going to take tools with um, similar loadouts and compare them one by one. So we got like a can opener comparison come in, bottle openers, saw, scissors, knife blades, all that kind of thing. So it's gonna be really cool and I have all kinds of stuff. There's a Leatherman Free P4, Venger S17, Gerber Dime, but enough previews. Let's go to the tabletop so I can show off my entire collection as of, what is it, July 2021. Okay, first tool up. This is the Victorinox Classic. And uh, we're gonna do Victorinox um, knife-based tools first, and then move into the scissors and plier-based tools. This is, as its names, you know, implies a classic multi-tool tiny scissors a little uh, nail file and driver and tiny knife as well as your classic uh, tweezers and toothpick I've taken mine out uh, I don't know where it went but there you go Victorinox classic and this is the um, sapphire color uh, it's a translucent blue scale next up we have the Victorinox Explorer model this one's a little more tool heavy. This is one of the 89 millimeter versions, uh, pretty standard size for Victorinox. Can opener, bottle opener, large knife blade, all that kind of thing. Uh, I really like the uh, Phillips driver on here, full dimensions, as well as a uh, magnifying glass, although I have screwed this one up pretty considerably, uh, attempting to polish it, so may have to fix that someday. I also replaced it with the plus scales, so these are the ruby scales, plus scales. Um, they have a pin, a toothpick, a pen, and the tweezers on this side. So comes uh, in handy quite a bit. And this is a little tiny, tiny glasses screwdriver uh, for those of you that wear uh, prescription glasses or safety glasses on a daily basis. That really comes in handy there. All right, our next tool, this is originally a Wenger model, but uh, Wenger was acquired by Victorinox, so this is now a Victorinox model. Uh, the Evo Grip S17, I believe. Um, really the main special feature here is the locking blade. So this one locks in place, and here's your little lock release. Has good walk and talk, it stops right here, so you can clear your fingers out of the way before collapsing the blade. Um, you can see a little bit of movement in these scales. It's because I've taken it apart before, uh, just because it was pretty gross. This was an eBay acquisition, so I like to clean and sterilize those tools out. Uh, different sort of nail file on here. And uh, what else weird does this have compared to Victorinox? No, saw is pretty standard. I feel like there was something else. Oh, the scissors. Scissors are slightly different. So. They move. Do you see both blades moving at the same time? Kind of a different style. Uh, the Instead of having a spring in between here, this spring is uh, using the back spring tension to move. So yeah, kind of cool. Um, it just means that whatever you're cutting, you kind of like veer off of it. So that's kind of strange. But uh, yeah, I bought this as a carving tool and uh, I plan on doing some carving videos in the future with it. Let's just set that there. Okay, next tool. This one's a little bit different and I wanted to put it next to the other red tool so you can get a good idea of the color. This is by a Swiss company called Sfiza. Sfiza? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. If you know, please give me a little rundown in the comments section if you would. Um, but this is another locking bladed tool and the lock release is this right here, as you can see. There's a little pin that pushes the liner out of the way. So then you can close the blade. Um, 
kind of an interesting design. I really got it for, uh, where are they? These ginormous scissors. Look at that. So yeah, super excited about the uh, scissors showdown video because uh, I'm definitely going to want to see how these perform. They seem just obscenely large for uh, <laughs> what you might need on a daily basis. So yeah, Svizza. Uh, they're the only other uh, Swiss army knife manufacturer that hasn't been acquired by Victorinox as far as I know. So yeah, keep them on your radar. This is the uh, D D10, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, I'll put it down here. Next tool is another Victorinox. This is an Alox model, so these scales are all aluminum. No scale tools like the tweezers or toothpick, so you lose out on that, but you get thicker tools. This is the Pioneer X, so big old chunky blade, some scissors, uh, can opener, bottle opener, Ooh. can only open one tool at a time, they're quite strong back springs there. Oh, and it has this all, I love this all, all slash reamer. Um, you couldn't stitch with it, it doesn't have a sewing eye, but uh, boy it reams pipe like nobody's business. So yeah, big fan of this tool. It's a nice minimalist carry, and it uh, looks nice too. And yet another Victorinox model. This is the Swiss Champ. Uh, I think I've reviewed this on the channel before. Um, this has all the tools that the Explorer has, plus more. <laughs> uh, this one actually has like pliers in it. Um, they do tend to come in handy, surprisingly. Uh, fish scaler and a little um, measuring stick. This is centimeters, I believe. Yes, so metric ruler there. Uh, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, what else? Oh, the, the parcel hook. This is a fun one. I did a pull-up on this. You can um, find that video on my channel. An awl slash reamer. Yeah, it has just all the tools that you might need on a daily basis while still be being um, compact enough to carry like in a pocket or a, a bag or something like that. So there you go. Uh, Victorinox Swiss Champ. And these are the emerald scales. I think I went with the plus scales on this too. Yeah, I replaced them with the plus scales so I get the pen. Yeah, really good stuff. like this color quite a bit. And the final knife style tool. This is by a company called Rake. And it is pronounced Rake. I've looked it up multiple times. I went to their website. It is pronounced Rake. Why they spelled it that way, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but this one comes with a liner locking blade with a thumb stud. It does have good walk and talk, so the blade kind of hesitates right there and then comes to a close. Um, I do have an initial impressions on this on my channel. If you want to go check it out, I'll try and remember to uh, link it in the description. It has one of the better saws I've ever seen on a tool. Uh, basically, if you've seen the Boker Tech Tools, this is essentially a tech tool with some extra tools nested. Uh, beneath them. So here's the scissors and then beneath the scissors you can see we have like a reamer, a uh, spoke wrench, a wire stripper. Yeah this thing uh, comes packing. It does not have a can opener strangely enough and I had people get uh, pretty pretty mad about it in my comments. Um, the little screwdriver from a Victorinox will not fit in this corkscrew either so keep that in mind. It does however come with a deep carry pocket clip um, it is kind of comically fat in a, you know, pants pocket, so take that for what it's worth. G10 scales, uh, pretty cool. Uh, I like it. It has come in handy for me so far. Full review coming. But, uh, yeah, that caps off the last of our knife-style tools, and we will now move on to uh, pliers and scissors-based tools. But let's get a family photo, and there we go. There's our family photo for... <laughs> 2021 of the knife style multi-tools or multi-purpose knives however you want to say it okay next up we have some smaller uh, pliers and scissors based tools there's the leatherman squirt p4 in a blue colorway i got this from tsa so i scrubbed it out but it still has some junk in it yeah it's going to take some more work to really smooth her out 
the mechanism's a little gunky. Not sure what's going on with it. So I'll have to work on that. But this is a nice little pliers based tool. Folds up very compactly. Has one of the better files I've seen on... I mean, frankly, even some full-sized multi-tools don't have a file this good. Um, so, yeah, that's a that's pretty nice uh, nail care tool, if you will. Nice little blade. Very tiny tools on this guy. Phillips. Ooh. Tiny, tiny scissors. They do function, but they're not heavy duty by any means. And then the uh, bottle opener. I have tested this, does work. It's not the best, but you'll see in that video uh, when it comes out. So that's the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Somewhat related to the Squirt is the Leatherman Style CS. So same kind of little knife blade on here. Uh, this one does have tweezers, chilling right there. Uh, this is a bottle opener on the outside as well as a carabiner. And what else is out here? Oops, the uh, nail file. Whoops, come on. There we go. This is a pretty good nail file as far as they go. Very, very coarsely textured. It won't give you the finest finish on your nails, but it'll wear them down real quick. So, you know pick and choose uh, what you want here. This is a scissors based tool and the mechanism is very much like the uh, plier mechanism on the squirt. So yeah, pretty nice little EDC tool. Um, seems long but the length does help when uh, opening bottles and such. And the last mini tool here, the Gerber Dime. This is a real winner. Also has an external bottle opener, one of the better bottle openers on any tool. A uh, little sheep's foot blade. This has a great tool right here, this package opener. Oh, love this thing. Um, I have not used Leatherman's version, but uh, I know Gerber's version is really good. Uh, eerily similar scissors to the, uh, the Squirt. They work okay. Uh, kind of disappointing coming from Gerber since they are affiliated with Fiskars little flat head and a little Phillips head and one of the weirdest tool choices I've ever seen to put just a microscopic file on either side and then when you fully extend it this bottle opener gets in the way so yeah the the dime is a pretty good tool as long as you're not doing any filing let's put it that way also comes in like a million colors and uh, I got the purple one for this was like 17 bucks super worth it oh and it's spring-loaded forgot to mention yeah, good stuff. Gerber Dime. Highly recommended. Won't cost you much and uh, will be a lot of fun. Here's the family photo of the mini tools. Alright, first up for full sized folding plier tools. This is the Leatherman Kick. This one has injection molded plastic in the handles. Makes for a very comfortable grip on there. Uh, this one is branded. I got this uh, second hand in a trade and uh, yeah I like it um, folds up in a nice neat little package no outside accessible tools uh, I'm not sure if they're still making this model uh, and also this clip is aftermarket this is from the Leatherman side clip so if you're wondering why it looks a little weird that would be why but uh, yeah there you go Leatherman kick and we are rapidly gonna run out of room here Next up, the original Gerber Suspension Multi-Tool. I don't think they're still making this one uh, because they have an updated version I'm about to show you. Mine is very old. I got this when I was about 16 years old and I am 29 years old now. So this has seen a lot of crap. Uh, I've definitely hit it with a blowtorch multiple times, uh, cut things that I should not have, uh, just used and abused it as hard as you can and uh, it still works and is still one of the like smoother operating tools I've ever owned. Also the spring loaded function works great and these rubber pads on here make for a very comfortable grip so yeah Gerber suspension original was uh, pretty swag. Let me show you its uh, next gen version. Here's the next iteration of the Gerber suspension. Gerber suspension NXT or next I guess is how they want you to pronounce it. This one has a pocket clip, although super easy to spring this out. It's also spring-loaded again. 
uh, it has some weird stylistic choices. You can see a very similar plier head to this one, but then they have like a bead blasted handle that doesn't quite match. I don't know. I have a initial rep uh, impressions of this tool on my channel if you want to watch that. Um, pretty good overall. What does it lack? Uh, it doesn't have a saw, so if you are not a saw user, that's probably fine. This is a very good like urban carry tool. If you like a saw, this is going to be very disappointing, um, but you do get a full-size Phillips head on here, which is nice. Uh, these tools are kind of hard to access. I'm not sure why uh, they, you know, went with this like nail nick down here, which is impossible to pull out. You have to like fish the tools out by moving the Phillips head first. So yeah, they made some design con concessions on this one, but it's not bad. It doesn't make for too bad a, a next generation of the suspension. Although, I, I think I like this one more. Next tool. This is the Roxon Storm, commonly called the Storm. Uh, this exact model is the S801S. Uh, this is the second version of the tool. Uh, there's a previous iteration. I think there might even be a new iteration after this one. Uh, has a very robust bottle opener and cap lifter. Uh, corkscrew on here for you wine people, uh, full saw. Uh, it has a whole bunch of tools, a carbide breaker, um, pretty sturdy looking pliers, although I haven't put them to the test, hence the upcoming uh, test videos. This is interesting, this is part of the reason I got it. <clears throat> Sorry, hard to see off camera. This is a huge pair of scissors. Very much looking forward to testing these in the real uh, scissors test coming up. So, yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't call it a full-size pair of scissors. It's kind of like a half size, but uh, kind of, you know, the only other giant scissors we've seen are on that Swizza tool. So, very, very interesting thing to find. Uh, an inline driver, one of the better features on here, and it also comes with a bit kit that you can fit over here and use multiple different uh, quarter-inch bits on there. So. Yeah, the Roxxon Storm uh, does have some stuff going for it. Um, the stuff it has going for it does not include these tools on the back side. This is a cord cutter. Oh god, they're such nail breakers. It's ridiculous. One of the worst can openers I've ever used, as you'll see later. And then there's an awl in there, which is next to useless. So yeah, kind of a, a mixed bag here. Um, but if you like big, heavy, chunky tools with a lot of different functions, the Rocks on Storm might uh, have your back. And this is also a centimeter rule on the back side here. So there you go, Rocks on Storm. Finishing up this round of full-size multi-tools is the SOG Power Access Deluxe. Uh, this is the second tool that I've had, the Power Access Deluxe. My first one, um, the, the knife blade failed super hard. I have a video I will try and link in the description uh, or you can find it on my channel. But uh, yeah, the blade like bent all the way back, which is a real shame because it does have some very cool features. Uh, firstly, you can see this gearing mechanism, which puts twice as much pressure as you're applying to the handles to the jaws. So you get a two to one compression ratio, makes it an excellent cutter. Uh, cutting coat hanger wire is actually easy with this tool. It's the only tool I have that makes it easy. Um, so I'm very impl impressed with the uh, plier head and the mechanism is very satisfying to watch and to feel. Full size Phillips on here. We've got a micro driver for eyeglasses and stuff. Uh, we have a bunch of interesting tools. You do have to clump them, which is kind of annoying. So you gotta pull a main tool and then the other tools follow and you have to separate them. Um, that's not the best, but yeah, it has quite a few functions. I think 21 different tools on here, plus a uh, driver set. Let me see if I can get this out without slicing myself on the saw. So it has a 90 degree lockout and full extension. Whoops, full extension. Uh, they have a thing that fits over here, and you can use different quarter inch bits on there, um, as well as something I forgot to mention in my initial impressions, you can fit a bit right in here for like a quick little screwdriver job. So yeah, SOG, Power Access Deluxe, pretty cool. Uh, they did drop the price recently to about 65 bucks and um, 
that's probably a little more in the ballpark for this guy. So there you go, family photo part one of the full size tools. All right, we're getting into real heavy hitters and high performers here. This is the illustrious Gerber Center Drive. You'll notice mine has a bronze tint to it. Uh, I took a brass brush and brushed off a lot of this coating because it was just shedding onto my hands and everything I loved. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely abraded all these black surfaces as much as possible using a brush that would not destroy the steel. And uh, yeah, they took on a weird golden sheen. But uh, I like the blade on this tool. It's a full size blade. It's about three and a half inches or so. Yeah, probably closing in on 90 millimeters. Um, very nice. I like that it's outside accessible. Same with the driver and it lines up with the rotation so that your handle doesn't just like flim flamming around while you're driving stuff. You can keep it pretty compact. Comes with a bit set uh, also in the same black coating, so just be aware of that. They will get a little messy. Uh, that is all from the outside. And then you have to open the tool up. There's sliding pliers on these, and they are spring-loaded. Oh, wow, it looks really yellow in this light. That's funny. In person, it's not this bad. Um, there are replaceable cutters, so I'm looking forward to putting those to the test. And then uh, the interior tool set get an extra bit. Uh, what else? This is cool. This little like pry bar, bottle opener, multifunction tool. Right next to it is a nice spiky stabby awl. Yeah, not a lot of sewing going on with this one. There's a full size file, which, uh, way to go Gerber, you didn't drop the ball on this one like you did on the dime. <laughs> And uh, what is this blade over here? Serrated blade? Kind of a backup serrated blade. So yeah, Gerber Center Drive. Um, closer to a hundred bucks or so, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it's around a hundred bucks. So that's what you get. You get a hell of a lot of tool for the money. Speaking of hell of a lot of tool for the money, oh, the Victorinox. This is the uh, Swiss tool. Uh, Swiss Tool Spirit X, to be very, very specific about it. The original Swiss Tool will have a lot of ruler markings on the outside. Um, I don't know if that tool is as good. I just know that I absolutely love this tool. I've been bringing it to work every day. Uh, it is so smooth operating and has an excellent variety of tools that lock up reliably. It's just, just a, a beautiful everyday carry tool, honestly. Um, I won't show you everything, but this is a nice like pry bar bottle opener. Uh, this is like a chisel package opener, wire stripper, all kinds of stuff. Uh, classic knife blade. It does have of as much saw as they could pack in there, and I have used this, it's quite useful. They have scissors, which are weirdly not like any other Victorinox scissors, so we will be putting those to the test as well. Full-size Phillips driver in there, mini driver, can opener, it's a good can opener, I have used it, and then a, a very nice file, very well machined, and uh, yeah, nice metal saw on there as well. And these locks are just beautifully operating. And for about 105 US dollars, um, you really can't go wrong with a Victorinox. It would make a great purchase for a collector uh, or as a gift, honestly. Take my word for it. All right, now we're up in the $130 range with the Leatherman Surge. This is the Gen 2 Surge. Oh man, I have used the absolute crap out of this tool. Uh, serrated blade, plain blade, should be scissors, and the file. Um, you can also have a saw blade here if you want. Comes with one. I always kept the file because it has a diamond side, so you can literally sharpen all your other tools on here. Has the biggest, meatiest freaking plier head, maybe besides the uh, SOG Power Access. I'd really like to compare these side by side. But uh, giant replaceable cutters, very nice tips. I have cranked my life away on this thing, and it has put up with a lot of abuse. Some drivers and all. 
those are not that's not my favorite side I prefer this side the bit exchanger is awesome and a can opener it also acts as a bottle opener and something I haven't used but will be putting to the test has a wire stripping notch in here I always forget about that tool so I will be doing just for you guys some wire stripping so bear with me on that one because I'm not going to know what I'm doing uh, and yes I do carry the surge here with a pocket clip I detest carrying things in a sheath I'm making an exception for the Victorinox because it is a gorgeous tool and comes in handy all the time but pocket clip definitely my preference uh, and finally the Leatherman Free P4 the much contested multi-tool on this channel it is literally the most popular item and video subject on my channel I was resentful for a long time but you know what it has a lot going for it it also has a lot of questionable features so if you're wondering what my honest review is you can see my honest one-year review which I will absolutely link in the description for you to see but it does have replaceable cutters uh, this one's kind of chewed up. I actually got rid of my original and got this one secondhand, so interesting to see some actual wear at the tips here. Um, the real claim to fame here is how just loose, loosey-goosey this action is. It is facilitated by uh, magnets. Magnets hold it closed, and then uh, slip joints hold it open. But all these other tools are also magnet retained, so you can literally eject them all, right? Spread them out, pick your favorite, can opener, all, driver, depth gauge, and kind of a crappy little file if you're asking me, but yeah, all you got to do is just lever them out like that and they just boop, pop right out. Uh, this is a nice tool, this like package opener and uh, bottle opener slash two-dimensional Phillips driver. Leatherman really likes that kind of thing. Uh, also has scissors plain edge blade, a uh, oops, serrated blade, and a saw blade, which uh, I haven't put the saw to the test, but I will for the saw video. Yeah, and there you go. Sorry for like doing mini reviews on all these things, but it's hard for me to just stay on track. So that's about it. That's my whole multi-tool collection. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this long ass video. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. I also do other everyday carry stuff uh, like writing instruments. This is a fountain pen and I also collect knives, which I don't know if I have a knife, dedicated knife on the table. Interesting. But uh, yeah, I do that as well. So if you want more content like that, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell to get my notifications and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.